Did you know that Kentucky has a wine tradition dating back to the 18th century? In fact, the very first commercial winery in the United States was established here in 1799. That's over 50 years before California even became a state. How about that, Napa? Nowadays, there's over 65 wineries and vineyards throughout Kentucky. Here's a few of our favorites as featured on the Downstream television series. Just outside of Nicholasville, Kentucky, you'll find family-owned Crispin Mill Vineyards and Winery, where you can sample the wine, taste some great food, and purchase bottles as well. Be sure to check their hours before you go. Traveler's Cellar Winery is home to 14 varieties of wine and has collected several awards reflecting the quality of their products. Traveler's Cellar Winery sits on a foundation of limestone, creating the ideal soil for grape growing. This venue also welcomes guests to camp out and enjoy the countryside. Sitting on a 300-acre farm, Harkness Edwards Vineyards features a beautiful 1890 historic farmhouse now known as the Peach House. This family-run winery takes pride in its fun, experimental winemaking processes and nine different wine varieties. Lover's Leap sits on a 60-acre farm in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, offering eight grape varietals, including Tempranillo, Morbedra, Petit Syrah, Malbec, Merlot, and Syrah. They pretty much have something for everyone. Be sure and ask how the vineyard got its name. Overlooking the Kentucky River in Jessamine County, First Vineyard Winery dates back to the spring of 1799. As the name suggests, it is the first commercial winery not only in Kentucky, but in the entire nation. The convenient location made it easy to distribute products by water to New Orleans and from New Orleans to the rest of the world. Now featuring a bed and breakfast, First Vineyard Winery allows visitors to get comfortable and fully immerse in the history. 